All right, here we go. All righty. Well, thanks a lot for the introduction, Mark. And that right there is a grouper that you're seeing. Hello, my name is Dewey Smith, and welcome to Aquarius. Uh, I'm one of two habitat technicians. Uh, my job down here is to make sure that the aquanauts are safe, healthy, and being productive down here, and we'll have a successful mission. Um, we're going to start the tour here, as you see in the bunk room. These are uh, where the six aquanauts sleep. It's pretty close and cozy, but it does the job. Um, we don't spend much time in here, so there's a lot of space. Uh, this is where we keep all of our clothes and goodies and books for the for the crews here. Um, if you look forward here, right underneath the viewport and right underneath the grouper, uh, we do have a workstation here. Uh, it's a fold-down station with a laptop with internet capabilities, and that's for anyone to use. And we'll go ahead and come on out here into the main lock, and over here to the to the right here, our starboard side. We're actually looking towards the bow or through the bow of the, uh, to the bow of the habitat. And on the starboard side, starting as a camera, which the watch desk has a constant eye on us 24-7 during a mission. We do have another workstation here. This is for me and the other habitat technician, Buckley. And uh, this is where we have a live chat to the watch desk. So if anything happens, we have a live chat to them, as well as uh, a barrage of phones. We have digital, landline, cell phone, and as we carry on through here, we have a depth gauge here, which shows us that we are at 47 feet of salt water. We have a bunch of monkeys here. Also, <laughs> some of the aquanauts. We got aquanauts coming back from a dive. They're eating and uh, getting their meals ready, getting warmed up after the dive. Uh, underneath that depth gauge, we have our sensors that show the oxygen, temperature, humidity, CO2, and CO uh, readings and alarms there. Further back, we have our air distribution. This is where we get our atmosphere makeup. We have a 30 cubic foot bleed going on right now, and followed by our electrical panel, which has a bunch of buttons and switches there. That's how we get lights, camera, and action. Uh, we have uh, another station here with another computer that also has internet connect. Back on the other side, to the port side, we'll see people eating, uh, enjoying the, the loads of food that we have down here. Uh, we have a regular sink and utensils and a microwave like you would any at any kitchen. And we'll carry on through into the entry lock. And we'll see another couple aquanauts here hiding out. You can't run from those guys. <laughs> we'll also have uh, the same thing as I pointed out in the main lock. It's mimicked here. The electrical panel, air distribution panel. Right on. How'd the dive go, guys? Awesome. All right. Good deal. No problem at all. All right. And uh, this is a final space here. It's exactly, actually where it begins is in the wet porch. And the camera may fog up on us, but we'll try to keep it clear for you so you guys can see what's going on in here. This is where the power and air come through into this space right here. We have an air, dis air distribution panel, as we saw in the main lock and entry lock. This is how we distribute it in, inside, and if you can see through these, you can see the, uh, the moon pole. We do have some gear drying. This is where all their gear is staged. This is where we stage out and do our dives and all the work. This is why we're here. Um, the shower is a small space, but it gets the job done. Hopefully you can see that, and there's also another camera in here that is a direct link to the watch desk, and they can watch us from, from here, too. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll go ahead and sign out. And uh, thank you for, for uh, listening and watching, and we will see you guys soon, hopefully out in the water. Good night.